Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Returnal. It's a AAA third-person shooter, roguelike, with slight levels of, uh, I, I guess, kind of some Metroidvania elements, where you get power-ups that let you grappling hook up to cliffs and so on and so forth, that you unlock by finding certain locations later on in the game. It's a neat concept, and it's got a lot of issues, but it's also a ton of fun. I don't really know how to feel about this game. I'll talk about that more at the end, uh, but for now at least, I hope you guys enjoy. Is the white shadow the ship or something else? Or the planet? I gotta say, though, the facial model modeling and details is... Damn. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. That's a maelstrom. Oh, there's a spire that she's going towards. I think that's what was on the radar. Oh, tracing yeah. signal white shadow. She's looking for something. So is the white shadow whatever that spire is? Or another ship. Mm-hmm. The PS5 games look so good. I am so excited for this generation of games. Like, there's still a little bit of uncanny valley, but like gosh, what we had to deal with from the PS3, the Xbox 360 era is gone. Can you imagine, like, ten years from now, it's going to look even yeah. crazier? Of course, it was a lightning strike. What? Did she always have heteropromia? I don't think so. I think that's the show-off when it happens. Question mark. Boy. I... I normally hate the rumble feature layer on the controller, but boy, they did it really well with this. Mm -hmm. Like, you can feel the individual, like, impacts of various things. It's not like the controller just rumbles anymore. It, like... Boy... but my sidearm is missing. I'm leaving comms open. So locate the White Shadow broadcast. Okay, so we got to do a couple of things before we get rolling. Namely, music's got to go down to about 75. Sound effects have got to go down all the way to about 50 because this is a shooty-shooty gun game and controller <laughs> speaker off because... You don't I... want to hear noise coming out of... Yeah. Yep. And frustratingly, it thinks I've got a, uh... A soundbar? Yeah, but I don't. And it says you can customize this in settings, but that's a... It's a lie. I can't. Mm-hmm. Oh, plug in headphones into the wireless controller to enjoy 3D audio. I just... You video games and your refusal to accept anything else. Oh, but here we go. Um... What's midnight mode? Is it just a for people living in apartments? Uh, dramatically reduces the difference in volume between the quietest and the loudest sounds. So it's more of an equalizer. Yeah, I'm actually get this is really cool, by the way. I'm oh, also going to base trouble dialogue. Yeah, I'm also yeah. going to turn up the focus because 
to some degree for me. Uh, voice act. This is incredible, by the way. Yeah, they have. Like the amount mode. of. Oh, you could just turn off the HUD. I don't want to see my health bar. I want to guess. That's really <laughs> cool, though. I know that there are purists that like to turn that sort of thing off. Oh, aim assist, medium, high, off. Well, you're playing <laughs> with medium the controller, but you can see how it feels on medium. Yeah. I tend to prefer playing shooters with a mouse because of accuracy, but you'll see how you do. This is, okay. Wait, what's risky interactions? Items that may come with negative effects. Oh, so, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So now, now that I've done that, I can actually turn the volume up. Because it was real quiet in the beginning. All right. Now that we've looked at these settings and have been thoroughly impressed. I just wanted to point out, I really like her name. Selene is one of my favorite names and it's also Holy the moon goddess. Crap. This woman books it. Yeah, she... If she wants to go, she goes. I... Maybe... She should have just run to this planet. She probably would have made it there faster and safer. Helios. Heading towards White Shadow Broadcast. I mean, maybe she can propel herself more swift. Whoa, that sounded like some kind of immense creature. Okay. You might want to look up. I never look up. Have you met me? <laughs> what I was going to say, though, is that this could be a planet that's slightly smaller this than Earth. contains extensive ruins of a xenotype civilization. Ooh, go back. Ancient walls, foundations, and statues. Look at the statue. Right there on the ground. It has oh, a this face. Thing. It has horns. It does. And some kind of vertical slit down the face. Yeah. Looks like it was armored, too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, things I can talk about as far as what I know this game is. It's a third-person shooter roguelike. And is, I believe, the first full AAA roguelike in existence. There have been a couple of games that come close. Namely, uh, Remnant from the Ashes and Prey. Opalite. It powers your suit. New yep. databank entry. Opalite. Uh, Do you want to see what the entry is? Oh, sure. Obelite, a previously unknown radioactive mineral with a crystalline structure and golden glow. After separating the material from any unknown error, can be auto-gathered by the suit's resource bank. The radiation signatures on the local structures indicate that this has been the primary energy source for the sentient civilization, so it is highly likely that the collected minerals can be used to power dormant xenotype machinery. Additional data needed for further analysis. Ooh. But yeah, so Prey has like a pseudo roguelite DLC and Remnant from the Ashes had oh, a roguelike oh, mode. Oh. But that was it. What or who is That's probably her. Scout log. Oh. Atropos. I have found a deceased Astro Scout here. Checking identification on a helmet. It's <sighs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> My sidearm. Continuing towards the signal's origin. So that's why she didn't have her sidearm. Because that version did. The Except, does that mean that there's some kind of permanence then? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That this isn't really a, a time loop. Well, also, if you think about it, yeah, this is returnal. So return and eternal. I, I really like that play on words. Yeah. But. But. Yeah, that there is a permanence that she leaves corpses behind. Mm -hmm. To some degree. Undiscovered item. Discovered Sylphian. a potential resource. Positive analysis for suit repairs. Classifying as Sylphium. Can you go back up? There was a glowing in the eyes of one of the statues. Yeah, that one. Look at it. Creepy. I think it's...
it's actually like a thing. Oh, it's can, the crystals. Can you acquire them? Whoa. Uh, uh, yep. well, well then, you, you got resources. Good spotting. Mm -hmm. Now what are those red things up above? Machinery. Ah. If we turn on online mode, we can find the corpses of other players, which gives us like hints. Mm -hmm. Locked gate. Okay, so we gotta find a key. Uh, oh, 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 that doesn't look good. No, get away from it. I imagine if you stay in it, it would probably ensnare you and strangle you to death. Possibly, and probably. Oh, look at these creatures. Oh, oh, are they eating other corpses of her? So yeah, like bloodstains and dark souls. Yup. Encountered scavenger fauna. Watch out, lasers. Huh. So they have little bullet projectiles, but they're very slow moving. And you can't jump, can you? Yeah, I can. You can? Okay. A little jump. I don't know if it'll be enough. Hostile fauna dispatched. Scout log. Recorded log found. Adding to data bank. Scout log Atropos. Elapsed time 30 minutes since last crash. Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my. When, whenever I return. For Astro Protocol, I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. If you're hearing this, you're stuck here too. Playing back now. Scout log. Oh. Atropos. Never mind. Elapsed time 30 minutes since last crash. Whole areas of this forest are rearranging themselves like a fluid puzzle after each of my. When. Whenever I return, per Astro Protocol. I will not be recovered until I reach the broadcast signal. If you're hearing this, you are stuck here too. <sighs> Looks like I won't have to read those out. I don't yep. remember recording that. The Atropian Key. Now I wonder if Atropos is a play on Atrophy? Or Atrophy? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I got a dash and then a longer dash. While dashing, you're invulnerable to hazards and most enemy attacks. Watch out for that. Whatever it is. Silphium resin. One slot towards a max integrity upgrade. So... It's an HP up, but I gotta get a couple of those. What are these things floating around? They're making noises. Might be a little bug. Bug things, I think. Yeah. They're making little squealing sounds. Or are those leaves? These are leaves, but there is something that squeals, yes. Watch out. Don't. Security system encountered. You could dodge through it? Yeah. Invulnerable while dashing. Ah, uh, interesting. Invulnerable to most enemy attacks. Not all. Hmm. Not that it matters. But there's an area over here that I can check out. Oh, never mind. That did matter quite a lot. Mm. That was an HP upgrade. Nice. Oh, wait. This is... That yeah. was another door. Well, or we're back door. to where we are. We looped around. Mm. It was just a bonus area. Uh-oh. So Tropus oh, was... Oh, watch, watch out, watch out. One of the three fates. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, I, based off a of number of the names that they've already had, I, I, I believe they do take a number from Greek mythology. I might have to turn up the auto aim. Oh, adre adrenaline level. Enhanced vision. What's the purple stuff? Dunno. Malignant key. Ooh. Open secured gate containers, but is infected with malignancy. Have a chance of causing malfunctions. Are you sure you even want to... So proficiency gain disabled until I use a key. Looks like. Until you use that particular key? Yeah, so it's a little... It's like a little side quest that we have to complete. So we were penalized until we do that exact action that it wants, which is just use a key. Okay, let's find a door then. Oof. Seems fair to me. So Trophos is the oldest of the fates and the one dealing with death and inevitability. At least according to Wikipedia. Can you hit one of those? The purple things on the ground? Uh, this? Well, I made it go goop, but I don't think I needed to do that. Is it an organism? There's a number of them sitting around, but maybe you don't want to stand on them. Because why can you destroy yeah, them? Yeah, I can see that. Maybe if you traipse on one, it grabs your legs and kills you? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's those creatures. The vines. That, that looks very Yeah, that's dangerous. an HP upgrade. Wait, look up there. You're right. Is that a source of energy? Or is... Oh. It's a switch. Get out of there now. Ooh. There we go. So now we have a small extra pip of HP. Mm -hmm. Oh, what is this? Freaking creepy. It probably spawns those creatures. The ones with the tendrils. Good boy. Don't attack it. What What are you doing? Shoot first, ask questions, never. I've discovered piled corpses of a xenotype species. Mm. Likely the architects of these ruins. These could be the sentients that broadcast the white shadow signal. Ooh, they look freaky. Why were they all piled there? Did they sacrifice themselves? to it. Maybe not willingly. They definitely weren't arrayed properly. It is impossible to escape. I have tried everything. I'm always brought back by... There is a moment between death and rebirth when tentacles drag me down. Screaming. Drowning. Returning. This is cool. Mm hmm The tentacles. But are they the dark tendrils from that orb or something else? Careful. Encountered hostile predator. Holy shit. And it took off most of your health. Yeah, definitely it has a... It has a weak spot in its chest, but... Oh, it charges and it leaps. Out. Oh no. I mean. I know it's inevitable, but I'm making so much progress. Yeah. The main problem is just aiming with the controller as butts. I wish there was a lock on. Maybe there is. Maybe that's what high is. Wait, another suit? Yeah, that definitely didn't look like hers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I need to mess with some settings for this to be comfortable. I pretty much do not play third-person shooters on a controller. Oh, look at this. You get your first title screen. Yep. After your first death. But I, I, I think I'm going to turn on the, uh, the auto-aim. And also a couple other things. Helios! Astra, 
This is Celine. I survived the... Can you hear me? I'm in my ship. Suit status operational and... I've already experienced this before. Mm hmm Oh, that's interesting. Different suit types. And okay. Helios Main terminal, challenge going. terminal. Access to the daily challenge or overall statistics. Can you look at the damage? I think that might be the way out. Oh, I see. I might be able to go back in. I like this suit better. This is cool. Mm. Okay, every time you die, you're returned to the site without weapons, artifacts, and resources. Data bank entries are per and permanent equipment survive from cycle to cycle. Okay. So, a couple of things. Go to settings. Mapping. Is consumable. Focus aim, alt fire, fire. Nothing on R1? Wait, look at that. Active preset, adaptive. Aiming and firing use the adaptive triggers. Individual buttons. Huh. Probably just adaptive. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotta up that by a bit. But also aim assist. Because, yeah, I am, I am stinking terrible at aiming with a controller. All right. Once more into the breach. The only thing I'd want to potentially change is potentially, uh... The environment wasn't like this before. Is potentially switching the, uh... It's interesting that her memory only carries over from the last... The last encounter, as no. opposed to all the ones before. Ow. I was really hoping I'd just avoid that. I mean, maybe it does. I, I think it was just kind of implying that we've been here for a while. But now we actually properly are going to start hoarding memories. Looks like everything is kind of a little bit more open now, too. Mm -hmm. With places to go and things to do. But, oh, look at that. Yeah, but see that? It, see that? It. I'm... You need something to attach to Yeah, it so I or think there's Metroidvania it. elements to this. Whoa, lasers. Where effectively uh oops, right. And do you drown? Or are you I didn't quite well, I didn't really drown. You didn't you lose health? I think so. So you need to acquire the ability to swim perhaps? Or yeah. fish that stuff out? Probably. Also, look around at those statues. Can you go back? Because that one's pointing. Pointing. That one's tearing something out of its belly, and that one is crying. Yeah. And that looks like death. Some kind of odd meteor bot. Well, I can't shoot it. It okay. seems to just kind of free move around and, the zone very yeah, slowly. Yeah, an indestructible meteor bot. There was a energy source back there too. Ooh. The living sentients out in the desert are not the only widespread life forms I've become familiar with. The parasites are everywhere. They strengthen and also weaken me. Yet knowing that. I find myself compelled to attach them to my body. You? Treasure chests, I probably get one of three. Oh, but they are malignant containers. Oh. Container for you. Wait! Sorry. Ooh. Hostiles have a chance to drop resin on death. Xenotype device acquired. I think this will prove a useful tool. Oh, so malfunction probability high for that one. Moderate. I'm thinking we just open all of them. Just accept death a bunch of times. Oh. Fabricator costs increase by 25%. I'm here to just experience everything, not do well. 
Oh, but look, you have to potentially trade out what you have. Wait, converts collected opalites to what? Uh, let's see, so the currency? I thought it would be the currency. I guess not. Calls cause damage. Can you can you stop and let uh, me read? I mean, this just repairs integrity. I found a healing at it. Chill. We can read some things, but let's let's actually. Even so that I can read it to myself, I don't need okay. to read it aloud per se. I mean, that that was just a healing item. Mm -hmm. But I'd like you to explain it. Remember, okay. you are talking. Can't You're supposed go through to talk this. Over it's things. true. Uh huh. It's just I have to not interrupt you. Sort right. of. Right, but the thing is, it's fine. I wanted to know what those items did, and okay. ideally, you explain oh, why nope. you choose. Oh, what you choose. that was close. Hello, okay. can I open? The no keys found. But yeah, I I was hoping the one of them would specifically trade my money for health, but I guess the other one was just a healing item. Ooh. I'm just gonna cream face first through things for a little bit instead of spending too long. Uh, let's weapon see. charger. New technology discovered. Augments my weapon with an alternative firing mechanism. Does this allow you to hold? Yeah. So I can now charge up. Do a charge Highly shot. Effective. This will be useful. Uh oh, they're machines. Why can't I do the charge? Oh, I see. It's on a cooldown. Now, as far as we know, the machines can't be felled by anything, and it also has a force field. It might be one of those that I just have to take out the dogs. Mm-hmm, take out the dogs. and Watch out for those vines. Did you see them writhing? These? No, 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 off to the right. Right there in the middle of the path. See them? What are oh, they those leading things. up to? I suppose destroy the dog first. Nope. What are you? Why did you charge Dodging through straight it? through it. Ah. If I dodge, I'm fine. I know, but I would have. It would have been nice for you to have looked up to where they go. But I suppose you'll have time for that later after these have been subdued. Yep. So it looks like I've got a homing shot that I have access to as well. Mm hmm. That's good. That every once in a while I'll, I'll do like a. Oh yeah, that. Yes. A shot off to the side? Question mark. Yeah, those like things that come off my shoulder. Watch out! What was that? Yeah, it's. Yeah, I can't get that. So whatever, whatever that is, is not something I'm capable of destroying. Can you look up though, where the tendrils go, to the right. Okay. Is it just something dangling from a yeah, tree? Yeah, that might just be, like, kind of a, a trap-ish thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Still something to be wary of. Yeah. Ah, uh, those seem to be shielded. You're going to need something else to tear those down. That's accessible, though. Oh, can you look at the tree again? I just want to see what it attaches to. Yeah, there's some kind of creature there. What now? What if you hit it? No, it doesn't even. No, nope, doesn't seem to care. Mhm. Mm nope, ain't gonna get that, and that's fine. Okay. So what are you? What are you? Ah, another key. So I'm actually gonna swing back and hit up that treasure chest in that oh, previous room. The one key was required for the chest. Yeah. But we couldn't get to it Wait, previously. Wait, was that hmm? area always misty? I think this whole planet is just kind of hazy misty. I wouldn't question it too much. Alright. An, an artifact. Yep. Resin enhancer. Uh, let's see. Reduces the amount of resins needed to upgrade max intensity. Ah! So you can see next to our health bar the two little pips now. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means we only have to get two of the little upgrade things as opposed to more. Fabricating items, though. I don't know how to do that. 
Well, currently oh. you have fabricator costs increased by 25 cent. So you're at a slight disadvantage there. Yeah, but all I have to do is make something cheap. Ooh, these look nice. Yeah, this seems worth it. Ether, a permanent resource that interacts with other timelines and cleanses malignancy. So does this take away one of your malignant effects? Ether is a mysterious resource that is kept on... Oh, kept on death. Gain ether by interacting with deceased scouts and... I did do that. It oh. went away on its own. This, ga this game does not read at your pace. This game reads at the pace of <laughs> something else. Oh, there's a lower area that I missed. In that area. If you look at the mini-map, it's actually very explicit about where everything is. Mm, I see the tips of those. Oh, but it's, it's underwater water. again. <laughs> Adrenaline resets. Stinky. I don't remember how the adrenaline system works. I, uh, you know what? Oh. Uh, not that ain't it. Do you have? We can a... look up a lot of information if we wanted to. Mm -hmm. Adrenaline. Raise for every three hostiles you eliminate up to a maximum level three. Upon taking damage, Five. it is reset. Each level provides a unique effect that stacks with each other. So effectively, don't take damage and you get real strong. Mm-hmm. Now keep that in mind. They did have a beast cherry back there. Yeah. We can look at that later. I, I know you have an unquenchable thirst for lore. Lore. Uh but it's one of those that uh you have uh you have definitely spent certain series of ours where we start the game and you immediately are like, I found a book, we're reading it, and it's like, oh no. And then we're there for Ooh, half an hour. Look at this chamber. Is it so they're all seated there. Are they These are statues though, or are, are this those... looks like a possible challenge chamber. But can you go back to the ones that are seated? Because are those statues or are those actual creatures? Uh, these look like the actual dudes. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no way anybody would make, make that statue. Oh, yes! This is Xenophilus the Lax. Look at his casually relaxed pose. Yeah, yeah, he's dead there. Looking at him, you might look almost the think the that he is left, dead. Can you go back? Crap. Look at the, that one over there. It seems as though they have holes in their chests. Is that right? I mean, they could be rotting. I mean, that one seems to have a hole in the head, maybe? A couple in the abdomen. They could have gotten killed by something, or it could be rot. Once or it could again, be any number of things. Weeping. What is... Oh. New gun. Bet it is. A rifle? Acquired a Xenotype weapon, similar to our carbine technology. Turns out she's holding it backwards. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. Weapons and traits. Gain proficiency by eliminating hostiles. Oh, so as you progress with the weapon and use more it more and more, you might have talent trees? Yeah. So... All fires blast shell hardened rate of fire. Oh, I see. It's the star N zero that shows my. Uh, let's see, my proficiency. Ooh, another machine. Discovered a massive wall beyond which is the white shadow signal. I can't cross the chasm. For now, I'll change objectives and investigate the energy reading in the forest. Scout log, Atropos. Who triggered the broadcast? Do you see the white shadow is something only I should know? And now, out of literally nowhere, I'm hearing it again. Were the sentience involved? But how would they have known? I need to believe there are answers at the signal. Did you see the leaves moving on the ground? And no, I saw some those fancy. thorns, and I was worried that if you stepped on them, you'd take damage or that they'd try to strangle you. Yeah. 
What was that? What were they entwined around? Did you check to see what the obelisk was, or the rock, or the I, vessel? I go back and check to? in a bit. Okay. Now, if she says that only she would know of the white shadow, maybe a version of her has gotten to the the broadcast. Oh, but do you know what it could be, Wander? What? A version of her had gotten there to send the broadcast to try to deter her from ever going to the planet in the first place. Nah, she'd know better than that. No? Yeah. Unless the white Look, shadow is a clue. If I had help to send her. myself a message saying, like, you know, to deter myself, I'd just say, hey, hey Wander, don't go here. It sucks. <laughs> and I would dutifully say, all right. Like watch it would it not be, take. It would it not be a take that much. Watch circumstance where they have a, a limited set of characters. Like if I got a cryptic message from somebody that like, you know, I have some level of credence for like believing. Mm -hmm. Uh. I I would probably like if somebody said, "Hey, never ever go to Wichita." I'd be like, "All right, I'll I'll take you up on that weird cryptic signal." Why would you say that? I don't know, it was just the first... I was going to say never go to Portland, but that's not that helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? What? Either of them. Why are you, ta why are you choosing real-life locations? Look, Especially ones that we've either never been to before or... Are currently are of. residing in. Oh, see? It was going to grab you. I don't know. I'm aware. Part bravado that's like, oh, but I can dodge straight through it and not care. Until you fail to do so because of a millisecond delay. You live, you learn. Yeah, but I would rather you live, that you, you learn, survive as or long you as live, possible. You die, you learn. You repeat your mistakes. I have interacted with other versions of myself. But I worry one day I will re-experience these same interactions from their perspectives. But are they truly me? Or just hollowed corpses? This may be the face of things to come. It's a warp gate, but we can't Wait do anything with it yet. So multiple versions of her can exist simultaneously? Possibly. Uh, then where do they spawn from? How did more than one spawn? Because I could understand it that upon her death, a new one replaces the old one, but how could there be two unless they awake at different times or are multiplied once over or... Uh, oh, I wonder if the uh, grenade launcher version can actually wreck the, uh, the red guarded... Doors? It could... Potentially. I wouldn't say doors. Or was the, it? the vine walls, yes. <gasps> oh. No, 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 no. Well, now we know what that does. You can dodge out of it, apparently. Yep. Yeah, you need to stand your ground and... Well, the thing is, when them. these guys die, they drop uh, resin. Mm, so you want to actually grab them. But yeah, jokey vines ain't so bad. They probably just do a smidge of damage. Adrenaline spike. Yeah. So if you notice, I've got a whole bunch of traits down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if those go away. If I take damage, but as long as I as long as I don't take damage, I keep stacking more and more of those. Mm-hmm. Nice little permanent oh, increase. Oh, there's more in the eyes. Okay. Nope. Well, eventually I'll find a use for all this resin, and that'll be cool. Let's see. More goodies. Now there's a health pickup down below. Here? Uh, uh, now you can try getting through that. 
Nah. Well, oh, what? It got me something. There was something breakable there. What's up there? Uh, don't know, but it looks like another breakable wall. I suppose the walls that have the red glow to them, yeah, they might be susceptible to your shot. See, I get the feeling it's very Metroidvania y. That I'm not getting through this wall, for example, until I have a special upgrade. Mm. You know, like a, a shoulder charge that breaks through walls. Just conjecture, but I feel like they what? borrowed a lot from Metroid on this one. Whoa. Well then. That was something. Surrender. That's why the mist was covering the ground. There was probably a a damaged portion of the walkway that you couldn't see. Maybe. I think we have Ooh, to come wait, down here, is though. Is that a creature? Yeah, dead one. Discovered xenotype technology on the corpse of a sentient. Scan is indicating potential for suit augmentation. It's like a parasite. Yeah, they do have this line mm -hmm. that goes down the... Uh, their length backs. of their bodies. Yeah. And their front. And their front. Purpose. System integration complete. Performing a function test to confirm. But remember how that one statue looked to be tearing itself open in the front? Hmm. Ugh. Yeah. But, but apparently they allow this device to interface with, directly with their spine. Oh, it's a teleporter. Oh. Could confirmed. Point to point teleportation. Location exit seems fixed. Needs three ether to cleanse. Eh. Uh so do you want more resin, or do you want? I'm just gonna heal up a bit. I gotta remember to actually use this sphere. Next time we get into combat, remind me to just press L1, because mm. it effectively just makes it so enemies drop more money. Okay, uh, let's see. So before we go, uh, this one this is the end of the video, and I've just skipped ahead a little bit in the footage just so I don't have to worry about her talking over things. So I love this game. But I have some serious, serious misgivings about it. Namely, the fact that I'm not actually sure that should have been about roguelike. You can tell that I'm really hyped about it in the first, like, two hours of the game. And then uh, my second run more or less just immediately threw that against the rocks and dashed it all. Uh, I guess quick summation is this game is really fun. The shooting, the movement, the enemies, the power-ups, the upgrades, the, the gun variety, all of the different things. Like... It, this game cooks together pretty dang well, with one very notable exception. This is a really bad roguelike. There's only five bosses, so get ready to fight them over and over again, except for you don't have to. Once you beat a boss, you never have to fight them again. You can just skip them in the whole level that they're on, as far as I know. Which means, like, yeah, if you want to skip the forest level, you totally can. Uh, but the other thing is, it's a five-hour roguelike, and you can't save. So that means that if you want to pause in the middle of a run, you have to put in its, your PS5 into sleep mode, I, I think. I, I do not know what happens when I, I load it out of sleep. It could just reset my run, I, I have no idea. But a five hour run on a roguelike, like, that's tough. I, I can't recommend that generally, especially with the whole no saving thing, because it's just like most people do not have straight five hours to play any game uh, comfortably, ever. I don't. Like, I will stream a game for that long, but it's not comfortable. My hands hurt. I needed a break, but, you know, this is one of those games that is hard enough that if I took too long of a break, you know, came back in a couple of days, I'd be rusty and I'd probably lose. And for, you know, say if it takes three full runs before I even see the last boss, like, that's that's a lot of time lost just trying to see the last boss, let alone learn how to beat it. And honestly, I actually did quite well with this. Maybe I'm being melodramatic here and, and this game's a lot easier. But it's not easy. This is a hard game. Uh, so I don't really know. But I just... I'm not comfortable with recommending a roguelike that is five hours long with no saving. If they can add saving in or get rid of some of the difficulty or just let you turn off the, the permadeath option. Like, there's, there's a lot of things they could do to fix this. 
Um, and I want to do a, a review on that in detail. But I just want to include a note at the end of this saying that, like, holy shit, this game is fun, but it has some problems. And I do not want people picking this up thinking that it's going to be like Binding of Isaac or Hades or whatever, where you just, you play it for an hour or two and you have, a, you fit a couple of runs in. This, this game is a commitment more so than any other game that I've played recently, uh, other than, like, I guess World of Warcraft. And I don't, I'm not comfortable with that, and I have, I have problems, and I just don't want people spending, you know, 80 bucks picking up this game and then realizing that, like, holy shit, I can't, I just can't finish this. I have a life, I have a job, I have two jobs, I have the a wife, a husband, a child, a wife, husband, it doesn't matter. Um, sorry, I just, Xenoclash is stuck in my head forever, silly father, mother. Anyway, uh... It's so good. I hope they patch it. I hope they do a quality of life something with this, because these flaws are just so striking and so painful, and I can't help but just be disgruntled about them. So, with that said, it's a fun game. Like like I said at the beginning of this spiel, like running around shooting stuff, blasting things, finding cool upgrades and whatnot, and just exploring this world, like it's great. I think I just kind of wish it was like Remnant from the Ashes instead. Anyway, with that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, I'm going to do a full series on this. Despite my reservations and my grumps, that's almost more on the, on behalf of other people. Uh, because, <laughs> unlike everybody else, I can, you know, dedicate uh, a whole day to do two runs of Returnal if I absolutely wanted to. Uh, and, you know, not have to worry about uh, starving. And so it's one of those where it's like this is this game is the definition of definition of niche, and I am that target already. I am that target audience, and so I I will keep playing until it is done, and I will have a good time doing it. But oh boy, there's some flaws, and you will hear me grump about them. Uh, mainly, it's ju it's just the timing, man. It's just the timing. I don't know. Anyway, so with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.